Good morning, students. In the last class, we have learned about a sentence. What is a sentence? And we have also discussed about the two parts, that is the subject and the predicate. In today's class, we shall discuss some rules while we write a sentence. The use of capital letters and punctuation. Capital letters. A sentence always begins with a capital letter. Example. He is a clever boy. The first letter here, H, is capital. The dog is sleeping. Here, the first letter is T and it is written in capital letters. Capital letters are also used when we write the following nouns. Some examples are given below. Example 1. Names of people. Mary, Rajesh, Salim. Names of places. Example. Mapsa, Panjim, Bonda. Names of rivers. Mandovi, Swari, Ganga. Names of countries, example, India, China, England. Names of states, Goa, Maharashtra, Karnataka. Months of the year, January, March, June. Some more examples. Names of subjects like English, Konkani, Science. Names of holy books. Example, the Quran, the Bible, the Gita. Names of planets, Mercury, Venus, or Earth. Names of festivals, Christmas, Eid, or Diwali. Days of the week. Example, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. All these words need to be written in capital letters. Students, please remember while writing the pronoun I, it is always written with a capital letter. Example, I am a boy. Example 2, can I go out to play? In the first sentence, I is at the beginning of the sentence, so it is it has to be capital. In the second sentence, I is in between the sentence. Please do not write I in small letters. It is always written in capital letters. Next example, short form also begin with capital letter. For example, MR refers to Mr. M is capital. Mrs. refers to a lady who is married. M is capital. Miss is for a girl who is not married. So M here also is capital. When we write doctor, D is capital. So likewise, doctor, teacher will also be capital letters. Each Word in an abbreviation is also written in capital letters. Example, PO or USA, that is United States of America. Now let us discuss some of the punctuations. First one, a full stop. A full stop is used at the end of the sentence. Example, I can run fast. The sentence ends with a full stop. Second punctuation mark is a question mark. A question always ends with a question mark. For example, what is your name? Here, we do not put a full stop but a question mark. The exclamation mark. 
Sentences which express our feelings end with an exclamation mark. Example, Hooray! We won the match. Or, What a beautiful baby! The use of comma. The comma is used when we want to pause a sentence. It is used usually after the words yes and no. Example, no, I cannot hear you. Yes, you may come in. Comma is also used to separate or break up a sentence. Example, do not beat me. I'm Boto. I'm not a robber. Comma is also used to separate words of the same type. It separates nouns or adjectives or adverbs. Example, Peter, Raju, Ali and Sam are friends. Or, my teacher is tall, slim, dark and has long hair. The tortoise walked slowly, steadily and carefully to win the race. Usually, the comma is not used after the word end. Use of apostrophe in a sentence. The apostrophe is usually used after a word with the letter S to show possession. Example, the boy's bet. Here, after the word boy, apostrophe and S is used to show the possession. The farmer's cow. After the word farmer, a apostrophe is used and a S to show the possession. However, if the word end in S, the apostrophe alone is used after the S. Example, this is Ramdas's book. Since the word already ends with an S, we put an apostrophe after the letter S and no extra S is used. Second example, he is Shreya's brother. Here the word Shreya ends with S. So the apostrophe is used after the letter S. The apostrophe is also used when one or two letters have been dropped. Example, contractions. Was not becomes wasn't. That is, you write the word was, n, apostrophe and then t. Cannot can be shortened as can, apostrophe, t. The apostrophe is also used when telling the time. Five o'clock. After O, you put an apostrophe and write the word clock. The inverted commas. The inverted commas are used to show the actual words of a speaker. Example, the teacher said, stop talking. What did the teacher say? Stop talking. Here, by the use of inverted commas, we know at the actual words the teacher said. Example 2. I can't solve the sum, said Swati. What did Swati say? I can't solve the sum. We know exactly what Swati said because it is written in inverted commas. Commerce. In today's class, we have learned the use of capital letters and different types of punctuations. Students, I hope you have understood it well. 
and you are ready to solve the exercises.